Good morning, Houston of FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I've got two impressive executives from Lowe's with me. I've got Bill Bolts and Sarah Dodd. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. Doing great. Yeah, you have some exciting news. You have announced today that you've acquired the Stainmaster brand name from Invista Division of Coke. I mean, that's the strongest, most recognized brand name in the industry, right? That is correct, Kemp. So before we get into that news, real quick, just run through your background. Bill, you've been in this business almost 40 years. You're Executive Vice President of Merchandising. You've been at Lowe's for two and a half years. Prior to that, you worked for a little while with Shervon on the Skill and Skill Saw brand, spent seven years at Home Depot, and 23 years at Sears, right? That, that is correct. Sarah, also impressive. Great. Senior Vice President, Global Merchandising for four years, Orchard Supply Hardware just for a short stint, and then at store level with Lowe's for 11 years, right? Well, I've been with Lowe's for, for 16 years back when Lowe's had um, Orchard Supply Hardware as part of our oh, okay. Our company. Also, you and I graduated from the same year, University of Tennessee, Knoxville grad, right? Yeah, I got my MBA from there, so yeah. go Vols. All right, so let's, uh, Bill, if you don't mind, or whoever wants to st- start first, talk about this decision to buy the Stainmaster brand name. Yeah, good question, Kemp. I think I'll start and then Sarah can add. Folks may or may not know, but we've had the Stainmaster brand exclusive at Lowe's in the Home Improvement Channel since 2010. Right. And, you know, as you referenced uh, in your opening comments, you know, it is probably the most recognized brand in soft surface flooring. Yeah. And so, you know, the opportunity that, you know, that arose for us to acquire it and have it be part of the Lowe's family of brands, you know, was a good opportunity for us. It fits nicely into the total home strategy that we announced at the end of last year when we had our annual investor conference and we told folks that, you know, we're now going to be building out uh, areas and entities to continue to maintain and grow market share where we felt like we had the opportunity to win. Mm -hmm. And flooring is one of those categories. And so being able to put the number one brand in there as part of your own brand, it's just a natural fit for that. And so we're really excited and it's a great day for Lowe's. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just ask you, you get the, you get the sub brands too. I mean, you're going to get the pet protect name too, is right? That is correct. yeah. Yeah. So all the sub-brands come with it, and Pet Protect obviously being the, the best quality level of soft flooring that is offered under the Stainmaster brand uh-huh. has been in the Lowe's assortment for a, a few years now since it was introduced, and, you know, just a nice fit. Yeah. All right, so your plans, I mean, this is a big name. I mean, obviously most people know when DuPont launched this brand in 86, over the first three-year period, they spent $85 million on it, to building it to the consumer. So it's it's well known. I think it's probably better known to the boomer than the millennial. But, I mean, you can obviously continue to build. Will you start spending some money to the consumer about this brand? Yeah, I mean, we, we advertise the Stainmaster brand today both on our traditional media, digital media, and as well as in store yeah. with all of the different signing and, and stuff that we do inside the store. But, you know, we're not going to back off on the marketing. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a big deal for us. Yeah. And as far as brand extensions, will you be pushing that stain master perhaps into, say, paint or cleaning or other areas where the, the, the stain master brand name may have some meaning? Well, I mean, today it's it's business as usual. I mean, yeah. it's day one, but I'll let Sarah speak to kind of where her team is thinking that, you know, the kind of the quick hits for Stainmaster would fit okay. and give you a little taste of where we're, of where we're thinking. So, right. Sarah, why don't you share with Kemp your thoughts? Sure. So, you know, what we're excited about, Kemp, is and you mentioned it earlier. I mean, the number one, you know, brand and soft surface flooring yeah. and what the customers love about it, right, is the high quality performance characteristics of it as well as the durability and stain resistance. And so for us, as this now becomes one of our, our private brands within Lowe's, you know, we're thinking a lot about that total home strategy and, and how else could Stainmaster, you know, show up in a home. You know, you know Bill and I obviously are, are, are merchants and driven really strongly by customers and what customers are looking for and we're obsessed with what they need in their, in their homes. And so for us, the Stainmaster brand as a private brand now brings with it the opportunity to for other performance products that could extend to other places. Just curious, obviously you've got big plans for the brand. There's some people out there, wow, you, you, this is huge news for Lowe's, and especially it's probably going to make some folks in Atlanta take interest on market share shift possibly. But there, there's all, it's also, though, some bittersweet news to the retailers out there. You're obviously a competitor to independent retail. Will you license the brand to them, or what are your plans there? Is this, will this end up being an exclusive brand at Lowe's? Well, you know, it's been exclusive in, in the Home Center channel for yeah. us since 2010. Right. And so, you know, today being the announcement, it's business as usual for us. And uh-huh. 
you know, stuff that we, uh, you know, are not prepared to, to talk about in regards to what the future looks like. But right, right now, I think it's, it's fair to say business as usual. Last question. You'll use this brand name not only on carpet, but you probably extend it into hard surface as well, right? Yeah, I think that's some of the quick hits that Sarah was referencing is that it's, a, you know, it's a natural extension in the flooring category. So that's, you know, that'll be the first effort of, of focus for us. All right. Well, congratulations on this big news, a big win for Lowe's. Again, the news is that Lowe's has purchased the brand assets from Invista for Stainmaster and all their sub-brands. Again, been talking to Bill Boltz and Sarah Dodd, two executives with Lowe's, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.